I've got this old Craftsman drill about 11 years now. It's got NICAD 19.2 volt batteries. Works fine, but I went to go replace the battery with one that was supposed to be charged. Nothing. So I thought, okay, fine. It just needs to be charged. But the defective light is on. So I can't charge this one. Comparing to the good one, we have 21 volts on the good one, 3.3 volts on the one that's saying defective. The approach I'm going to be trying to get this battery running again is for NICAD battery types. And of course I've been reading all about trying things like zapping the battery pack, jump starting it from another one in parallel, and seeing the sparks fly. But then somewhere I saw something about just cutting the power off and on for your charger and see if you can get the defective light to stop showing because, I don't know, maybe it's doing some zapping itself. I'd rather deal with that than me just letting sparks fly. So I don't know, let's just try it. I've got it plugged into this power bar. Off. What? One try? Is that like some sort of an inrush surge when you first plug it in? I'm just gonna walk away from it and uh, see what happens later. Does this thing charge? This is a one hour charger, so it shouldn't take too long. So it's been an hour and it says it's fully charged. Everything's cool to the touch. Nothing abnormal has happened. So let me take this off and check it out. So here's the one we just charged. It's 22 volts. Well, that seems pretty powerful. Take it out. Try the other one, the one with no problem. It sounds a little bit more dead. It's a little bit more discharged. Back to the one that we just fixed. Well, all right. I'm gonna start with the questionable one that I had to restore. I would only expect to use this for the odd job where I need to do a couple of things. As far as I knew, this battery was totally dead and had to be recycled. So if I get any use out of it, it's better than it was. So with the questionable battery, let's see what I can get out of it. That's five. If I can get 10 out of this, in and out, I'm just gonna check at that point where I'm at. So I've got seven right now. This is hot. Time for another one. All right, 10 screws in and out. How is it holding up? So the no load charge is 20.7 volts. And now just to compare, I'll take this good one and do something similar with it. How's this good one doing for charge? 20.9 volts, and the questionable one again, 20.9 volts. So, this one that we're calling good, who knows how good it really is. These are both 11 years old plus. So it looks like this one really just needed a kickstart. Maybe putting it in a different kind of charger. I assume this is some kind of smart charger that's not able to handle the fact that this fell to three and a half volts. And I don't know what cutting the main power off and on did for it. 
Maybe it tricked the charger into detecting it. Maybe it gave an extra intermittent jolt of power and the voltage was read higher than three and a half and it said, okay, we got something to charge. All I can say is I am happy with the results for now. And again, if I only get a few more charge cycles out of this, that's a few more projects than recycling it today. So again, this is NICAD batteries. It may or may not work for you and it may or may not last very long, but definitely do your research, especially if you're using a different kind of battery.